What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and patch 1.03.1 has just dropped, and we are seeing massive balance adjustments across the board in AC6. These balance adjustments affect the game in both PvP and PvE, and there are some really nice changes here. Pretty much everything that was overtuned has taken a nerf. Uh, the Zimmerman's pretty big nerf there. We got some buffs across the board to Bazookas. Stuff like Nebula Charge Attack got a hit. Uh, the Siege Missiles, those took a hit. Songbirds took a hit. Stun Needle Launchers took a hit. And so I wanted to jump in, take a look at these changes, take a look at what the values used to be, and basically just show what's new and what y'all can expect with this new patch. So to start, the Explosive Thrower, we now have increased effective range, more rounds, and a faster reload on it. The two linear rifles, the Curtis, got decreased recoil and charge time, while the Harris got an increased to its charge attack power and then a decrease to its charge time, which is very nice. Uh, so let's jump in and take a look at those first. In particular, let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the Harris here. I want to see what that that value used to be on the Harris. So pulling up the Harris stats. You can see those all the window and I'll pull up this sheet right here. Going by the previous values, the Harris previously had the attack assisting. Where's the charge attack power on this list? Charge attack power used to be 850 on it. Now it's up to 977. Charge impact looks like it is unchanged though. The heat buildup is now at 1000. Let's jump in and take an actual look at this in action see what is going to how it's going to play out what it's going to look like the explosive thrower also sounds really interesting getting a, a big buff on that i have a couple builds that use that that i am quite a fan of i'm just going to throw out a trainer ac no real velocity change I have to turn off his AI to actually be able to hit him. Ooh, wow, that comes out really fast. Charge on those is much faster than it was before. Pretty solid damage there. Oh, man. That hits hard now. That hits very hard now. Explosive throw a range. Okay, so that's going to probably hit around the 175 mark, maybe. Just barely under, about 150. Ooh, also still under. Nice. Let's see what the... Uh... Yeah, that's definitely way, 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 way farther on that as well. Uh, going back to the list, the Haldeman got a direct hit adjustment. That's a small one, so we'll just take a look at that directly. Haldeman, previously the Haldeman had a... Direct hit adjustment of 205. Now the Haldeman has a direct hit of 190. So not too bad. Actually, I'm going to condense my list here. Hide some columns, make this a little bit easier to show off some of the more important stuff. Um, jumping on over into the bigger stuff here. So the Zimmermans, increased attack power, impact, accumulative impact, and direct hit adjustment. So pretty much sweeping changes across the board for Zims. And I think to test that, I'm going to pull out an AC I had already that had uh, double Zims on deck. Really see just how bad those got hit. So taking a look at the Zims in particular, let me pull up the spreadsheet here. So previous values on the Zims, we had attack power at 900, it's now at eight. We had the impact all the way up at 840, that's down to 620, whoo! Accumulative impact also took a nerf going from 420 all the way down to 360. Those are some big, big nerfs, big, big nerfs. And then the direct hit adjustment that was previously all the way over here in the chart. Direct hit on them was previously 205. So let me get rid of these combo columns, make this easier. 
205 and now we are seeing what we are now seeing a direct hit adjustment at 180 so that's some that's some pretty pretty sweeping nerfs uh to the zimmermans for this one let's actually jump into the arena and see if we can if we can run up and get a stun i'm guessing it's going to take probably two stuns now to hit those aren't like you know unusable but those are definitely big big hits So you can still play with it, but yeah, very, very big changes there to the Zims. We're not seeing the the instant run up hit stun anymore. Zim players can, oh, they're gonna have to play smart now. They're gonna have to absolutely stay on top of the target to get those hits off because that is not gonna be, it's not gonna be instant stun death like it used to be, which that's gonna be, that's quite nice to be honest because like the Zims are a cool weapon. It just it sucked they had they had such a thing attached to them because of how overpowered they are so players if you liked zimmermans because of the flare well now you can finally use them and not feel bad because they are more balanced uh, going back over though let's see what else we got here so the cocolette and the ducket we have an increase in the total rounds available something like that's not as critical but just a nice quality of life for those uh, so previously we had 196 we have 196 and 182 on those let's find the total rounds in this this little sheet here total 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 previously they were 105 and 98 so almost doubled almost double that that's a, it's a significant increase basically makes those much more viable going through pve now for sure uh, the Sampu also had the total rounds increase. That's now up to 300. Sampu was previously at 156, so also roughly doubled. The Viento had total rounds increase, and this one is kind of surprising because Viento already performs quite well. 160, Viento was previously up to 120, so not quite as uh, heavy as the other ones, but still nice little buff. Bazooka 1G, increased projectile speed, decreased reload time. It's the base bazooka. I don't know many people that actually used that poor thing. Uh, bazooka Majestic. Increased projectile speed. Decreased reload time. Okay. Bazooka Little Gym. Increased projectile speed. Decreased reload time. So pretty much just sweeping changes across the board for all the bazookas. Detonating Bazooka. Increased projectile speed. Decreased reload time. Liking all these. Uh, looking at our grenade launchers. Go Chen, increased total rounds, projectile speed, decreased reload time, and rounds now explode upon reaching their effective range, even if they don't make contact. That's not going to be as effective, because effective range on them... Oh no, looks like that got... You were up at 625. The Dizzy effective range is now 285, so even at a range of 285, those are going to go off. That's actually really nice. I thought they were a lot higher. I was probably thinking I was confusing them with the bazookas. Um, so go Chen, more rounds, more speed, decreased reload. Dizzy, more rounds, more speed, decreased reload. Effective range has been adjusted on them. Grenade Iridium, increased total rounds, projectile speed, decreased reload. Reduced sway caused by the accumulative recoil. Effective range also adjusted. Rounds now explode upon reaching their maximum contact. So the most commonly used one is probably the Dizzy, just the flat damage this thing offers. Uh, let's look at this the rounds and then the reload time and effective range. So going over to the well, Here's all three of them Total rounds across the board was 32 26 20 now we are looking at 40 38 and 32 so nice little buffs there uh, the effective range previously on these was yeah, it was high. It was 625, 660, and 625. And now we are seeing effective range of 625, 285, and 245. So yeah, using the Iridium and the Dizzy, especially with that explosion at effective range. Now that's gonna be that's gonna be a game changer, to be honest, between those two. The Go Chen still kind of falls into that that weird starter niche. But yeah, those two are definitely gonna be quite nice now. 
And then the reload time was also adjusted on them. Let's see, previously reload time we had a value of, do, 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 where is reload in this list? Recoil, I don't even see reload time. There we go, 7.5, 8.9, and 6.3. Now we are looking at 5.9, 7.1, and 4.5, so some nice changes there. From 8.9 down to 7.1, and from 6.3 down to 4.5. It's pretty, pretty chunky changes. Uh, plasma rifle nebula decreased charge attack power, or power about decreased charge attack power, charge impact, charge accumulative impact, and increase the charge time. So big, big hits there. On the nebula, it's kind of nice because the nebula was was very powerful here. But I, I look at it as more of a, a rapid fire. Let's see what those values were looking like. So scrolling down our list to our nebula, let's get over to the charge time. So we are looking at. I want to look more at the charge damage on this guy. Charge. Here we go. So Nebula, 1908, 1152, and 612 is now 1716. Charge impact took a big hit from 1152 down to 840, and then the accumulative impact from 612 down to 432. That's that's going to be a pretty it's a pretty chunky hit there to the Nebs. I'm imagining these will probably still be. Uh, I think these are still, I mean, because since there's no real change to the rapid fire aspect of them, they'll still be good for, for just normal firing. It's just the charge attack power is, is going to take a hit here. Oh god. Hang on. <laughs> I gotta, uh... I don't have a generator suited for this at all. Let me slap like this on. There we go. Close quarter combat nebula with the rapid fire is still going to work incredibly well, I think. Yeah, we're still seeing still seeing really good results coming out of that, though. Uh, hopping back over, though, let's talk about the other stuff. Let's see here. So the siege missile apparatus. Increase reload time and decrease guidance. Now this is going to be one of the big ones. This was a, a very, very annoying weapon to contend with. Uh, this was the go-to choice by missile boats. Missile boats loved working with those. So this is something that we're going to want to want to queue into the arena. I want to see how bad the guidance actually looks. Uh, real fast, just looking at the actual values here on these. So the guidance on these was, it's 180 right now. Let's see, previously, they had a guidance of 220. So definitely a nerf, definitely a nerf. Not as significant as I thought it would be, but a nerf regardless. Let's go into an arena, we'll fight for it, and we'll see how well these track. Still got that nice delay. They're definitely not curving nearly as much as they used to. All right, well that one I failed to lock. Ooh, like right there, look at that volley. That volley went straight past him.
Yeah, missile boats took a pretty big hit. Because the biggest thing with missile boats is it's those those hand missiles. And it looks like unless somebody is essentially standing still, they do not nearly have the tracking they used to. God, look at that. Even just, just small little hop boosts, not even like true boosts. Oh! Destroyed. Going back into the list, though. We have... Grenade cannon changes. Earshot decreased reload time. Rounds explode at the effective range. Songbirds decreased attack power impact. Accumulative impact. Rounds now explode upon hitting effective range. Love seeing the earshot buff. Earshots are uh, they're something I'm a big, big fan of. So let's go here. Let's go into assembly. Look at both songbirds and the earshots. So looking at the songbirds here, I don't need all of these columns. Let me hide that. Do, 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 do. Alright. So, Songbird C, we took hits to attack, impact, and accumulative. They were 250, 254, or excuse me, 754, 745, and 585. Now we are seeing a impact at 655. To 754, 635 compared to 745, and then 494 compared to 585. So, pretty big hits to the songbirds. Effective range on them now at 625. Uh, looking over here, the earshot decreased reload time, which is fantastic. Earshot reload was just absurd, it was so long. Uh, Previously, the earshot reload was... Twelve point eight. Ugh. And now it is at 9.3. I like that. More reloads and the effective range at 720. So there's, there's still going to be farther if you whiff that the earlier explosion isn't going to really help there. But still, big, big reload time change there. That's nice. Uh, the big one, Stun Needle Launcher, decreased impact, decreased accumulative impact, direct hit adjustment, and attack power on consecutive attacks. So hopping over to the Stun Needles, the, the Wombo Combo, the Cowboy Blast. Previously at 1088, the attack power is the same. Hang on, what was changed exactly? Impact, accumulative, direct hit, and attack power on consecutive. Okay, so impact was 907. Now it is 641. Accumulative was 437. Now it's 339. Direct hit adjustment down to 195. I feel previously that was quite high. Yeah, it was 225. So they definitely don't have the uh, the instant nerf, the instant, like, just a ratio that they used to have. But let's see. Let's see how, how the consecutive attack power works. So... This was the whole gimmick behind the Stun Needle Blast, is the idea is you stun somebody, you fired off both of them, you erase them. Let's see what that looks like now. Okay, so that was still juicy, but we had to get quite a quite a bit of his uh, his health down. Like I would say, that used to be that that was previously be an instant kill, and right there that looked more like a a fifty percent. Let me fight. We're gonna do another one with these. I wanna fight uh fight something a little beefier. I'll fight Michigan. I'll fight another tetrapod. Also, please excuse my my piloting capability right now. I'm 
Woke up, saw these patch notes, was like, alright, this is the one I've been waiting for. The other patches were pretty minor, so I didn't bother covering them, but this one I was like, oh, I gotta cover it, so. Recording this at like 7 in the morning after just waking up. No coffee or anything yet. I'm like, let's go, we gotta... We got changes, let's get out of bed. Michigan is a threat now with that expanded uh, explosive thrower range. Yeah, wow. That's not nearly as significant as it used to be. That used to just erase people outright. Now we're looking at like 60% AP tops. That is a that is a big nerf. And honestly, a well-needed one. Definitely a well-needed one. Uh, laser cannon, increased total rounds, diffuse laser cannon, increased total rounds, pulse shield launcher, increased total rounds, pulse shield durability, decreased weight energy load. Now this is one that I have been waiting to check out. The light wave cannon, decreased energy load and energy firearm specialization now applies to this weapon. I love the light wave cannons. I have them on the Zippy Boy build. And, you know, there's just really, there's no real reason to use it. But this is probably going to be wild now because energy firearm specialization didn't previously apply. And so now these are just going to be hitting 25% harder out the gate, which is fantastic. And on top of that, they have a, a decreased energy load on them. Like right now, the energy load is 390. Let's see. Let's see what they were before. Aura. Let's find our energy load on this cheat sheet. Energy load... Energy load was 522. That's huge. That is huge. Let's hop in. Let's hop in. I want to do. We're gonna do a uh, an arena fight with those. Zippy boy just just got fat buff. Oh, it's gonna be awesome because he was already using. I mean, he didn't really use the charge nebula shots anyway. He's using quick nebula shots. This will be the last evaluation. The dawn of the auroras. They're finally good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Zippy boy, your day has come. The guidance on them is still kind of potato, but that's okay. God, they hit so much harder now, I love it. I love it. That's honestly, that's like the perfect buff to these two. Cause like they needed, they needed a slight damage buff. So just allowing them to get a buff based on your energy firearm specialization. Love it. All about it. Uh, moving on from there. Dual missile of BMLG1. Uh, the Duo 2 and the Duo 3. Let's hop into AC design. I think I know which one those are. The Duo 1. Yes, it's these guys. The Duo 1 and the Duo 3. I love using these. I use these on a bunch of builds and everyone always makes fun of them. I'm like, oh, I miss all the time. Increase the attack power, impact, accumulative guidance, and projectile speed. Let's go. All right, pulling up the cheat sheet here on the two cell. We went from 122 to 148. We went from 76 up to 94. We went from 50 up to 62. The direct hit adjustment on them. Where's that at? Direct hit adjustment is 150. What else was hit? Guidance and projectile speed. Okay. Our guidance values are now 125. They were 125 on both. Now they're 145. So that's nice. 145. So a small increase to the guidance and the trio launcher. That, that is looking quite good, I think, now as well. From 122 to 148. From 76 up to 94, and from 50 up to 62. Man, those are going to be good now. I like those. I already like those, so seeing those get a buff, that's great. Uh, the active homing missile increased guidance, homing lock-on time, and projectile speed. And these were something that I've tried playing with. I didn't think they were very good. They were just they were too slow. The lock-on took too long. Uh, so both the 1 and the 2... 
got a buff here. Let's go over and take a look at those babies. In particular, we are taking a look at homing lock time, projectile speed, and guidance. Okay. Uh, so our guidance is now 115, and our homing lock on those, the homing lock is at 2.8 and 2.0. Okay. Previously, we were looking at values of. We were looking at three seconds and four seconds, and now we're looking at two and 2.8. That's huge. Guidance is now at 90 on them, or it was 90 on them. Guidance is now up to 115 on them. Let's see. It's another one that I want to test. This is this is one that like you you kind of have to test it and see what they uh, what they play like. So let's put on we'll put on double double the slow beast. We'll hop into the arena, do for it again. Let's see if they can track now. Honestly, the lock time buff on that, that's, that's phenomenal. That's like a 50% increase on the one. Four seconds down to, what was it, 2.8, 2. Point? Something like that. Oh no, that guy still seemed kind of dookie. Oh, that time they hit though. You know, I just realized while I'm looking at these values, I wonder what type of FCS was on to look at these values before. There's like, you know, right now my, oh, let me see if that changes, homing lock. It's 2.8. If I go to a Garbo one, does that show the stat? It does still say 2.8. Okay, so we're looking at, at flat numbers. It's good to know. Uh, the Truanos decreased guidance. Projectiles now follow a stable directory. That's another one. Truanos were, were quite deadly. They had a little bit of curvature to them. Trainos previously, they have a 110 guidance now. The Trano guidance previously was 120. So small, small nerf. That's another one though that we're gonna jump in into the arena and actually see what it looks like. Cause Trainos were, I mean, for the most part, I was firing Trainos after somebody had done a dodge and I knew they were stationary. Yeah, so if you use them kind of how they're intended, they look like they're still going to be quite good. Void isn't dodging nearly enough for these, but I'm guessing if I'm at longer range... Yeah, okay, so the curve on them where they would swing in and hit the target at longer range, that is no longer the case. That's good. But they're still going to be a fantastic, you know, long-range nuke. Uh, Coral Missile. Coral Missile, decreased charge attack power, charge impact, charge accumulative impact, and direct hit adjustment. Jumping on over, taking a look at the good old Coral Missiles. So, Coral Missiles, do, 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 do. let's see, Got our charge stats here. Previously, they had a charge attack value at almost 5,000. Now it's down to 4087. The impact was 3168. That's down to 2496 on the charge. The charge to cumulative impact was also the same, 3168, now down to 2496. And on top of that, a direct hit adjustment. They are now sitting at 165, whereas previously they were at 185. So pretty big nerf to the coral missiles. Probably well needed. These things were, were certainly overpowered. Be curious to see how the apparitive uh, coral missile boats do now. Laser orbits and laser turret buff. Now these weren't really used all that much. The drones were used a lot, uh, but the orbits got increased attack power, direct hit adjustment, ideal range, effective 
range and projectile speed, and the turret got increased projectile speed and laser turret attack frequency. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to see what these things can even do. For this, let's just jump into a, uh, we'll just do a regular EN test. Oh, my energy load's too high. I can, uh, probably slap on like an ephemera core and I'd be fine. Yeah, here we go. So orbits, better attack power, direct hit adjustment, range, projectile speed, effective range. It's a lot of changes. Let's take a look exactly. So looking at the orbits first, they were 122, they're now 135. Impact at 70, accumulative at 38, now it's 70 and 39. Direct hit adjustment is 135. Direct hit previously was 125, so not, not huge, huge changes, but perhaps enough Perhaps enough to make them useful. Well, we're gonna run uh, double orbits now. They definitely seem like they're they're firing more aggressively. Still not really sold on that weapon, sadly. Let's take a look at the laser turrets. So laser turrets got projectile speed and frequency. Okay, so no stat changes to those, so let's try them. See, and what's weird about these is they were they were stationary, so it was kinda hard to It looks like if you're like dancing around the target and putting him up, the firing frequency does seem quite nice. Those are actually getting some getting some damage in. Looks like they're lasting a good while. All right, look at them go! Look at my little turrets! Alright. It's an interesting change. Those might might be more viable before. Alright, uh looking at frame parts. Now a lot of these aren't as big. Uh, Basho, increased system recovery. Melander, increased attitude stability and system recovery. Increased system recovery on Veril. Attitude stability, system recovery on Melander C3. Tian Kung, attitude stability, system recovery. I mean, it's just like attitude or system recovery pretty much across the board. Uh, Femra, decreased AP, anti-energy defense, anti-explosive defense, and stability. So pretty sizable nerf there on the Ephemera. The Basho arms took decreased anti-kinetic and anti-explosive. As long as they have their melee, that's all I care about. Better recoil control on Melander, Melander C3, Tian Kang, Tian Lao, VP46S, VP46D, Nox. Pretty much everything got a recoil control buff. Seeing uh, jump distance and attitude stability on a lot of the legs. Some more stability on the reverse joints, that's quite nice. The Veril, both Tetrapods decreased AP. And the Fortaleza decreased anti-kinetic, anti-defense across the board and worse attitude stability. Inner parts, boosters. So everything's getting pretty much an upward thrust boost. The couple different FCS changes here. Decreased close range assist on the P05, Abbott and Talbot. Let's see which one those were. So you were a nice balanced one. The Abbott was like the starter one, so that means this is the clear close range assist choice now. And then Abbott Talbot and the P05. So close range nerfs on a lot of stuff. Uh, the Jozo, increased energy capacity, supply recovery, and energy firearm specialization. We're seeing that on the Jozo, the Yaba, and the Hokushi. Let me take a look at those generators. All right, so these were like the trash tier generators already. That's the Yaba, this is the Hokushi, and then the Jozo is the starting one. So not a big change there. Uh, expansion pulse protection, 
increased resilience. Pulse protection wasn't really used that much, and now it has a whopping 7,000 resilience. So the actual, the big shield you put up, we might see more people working with that now. Adjusted terminal armor. Terminal armor now has a five second duration? Bro, what? That's insane. That's insane. So, all right, pulse armor, 3,300, 10 seconds. Five seconds on terminal armor? Why would you not use it now? Two seconds was nothing. Five? That's, 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 uh, that's over two. Full stop, that's over two. Two seconds was plenty on terminal armor. Maybe three. Five seconds? Five seconds is huge in PvP. And some big changes here. <laughs> Adjusted attitude recovery rate according to total weight. ACS strain now dissipates much faster on lighter ACs and slightly slower on heavier ACs. Now that's something that's going to be kind of difficult to test, uh, but definitely a big change in PvP there. The idea is you stun someone lightweight, they're getting out faster. You stun someone heavy, they're going to be locked down longer. Adjusted various boost speed rates according to total weight. Decreased top speed during assault boost for heavier ACs. Decreased boost kick attack range for tetrapod legs, thank god. Increased energy consumption while hovering with tetrapod legs. Decreased impact reduction effect during assault boost. Decreased impact, accumulative impact dealt when colliding with enemies during assault boost. Decreased the impact and accumulative impact dealt by boost kick from all leg types except reverse joint. So, the Luchador drop kick is still looking good. Everything else taking a kick nerf. And adjusted damage dealt by certain weapons when attacking the pulse shield deployed from the pulse shield launcher. A big bug fix here. Fixed a bug where the coral oscillator charged attacks are stronger than attacking using tetrapod legs. For those confused uh, what exactly they're talking about there, the coral oscillator, the sword, Previously, this would have guaranteed tracking, like 100% hit, if you were using tetrapod legs. Not intended. That's been fixed. Uh, fixed a bug where the attack warning marker would not display for an enemy firing the javelin balfa clip to the left back slot. That's very nice. You now know when stuff is coming out. This was there was this whole thing with like a melee cancel where you could instant fire grenades. So I think this is addressing both of those. Fixed a bug where charged attacks from light wave blade and Coral Oscillator would clip through certain structures and objects. Nice. Fixed a bug where reloading a full magazine would cause certain weapons to fire unintentionally and then other bug fixes. Man, that is a lot of changes. But honestly, like this is, aside from the, the terminal armor five second, everything else in here is, is fantastic, you know? Explosive through a longer range is great. More beef to the linear rifles, I'm all about it. Zimmerman's go away which like the thing with honestly like i wouldn't feel bad using zimmermans now this was a very needed nerf they're probably still plenty viable they just aren't over tuned like they are before so if like you really like zimmermans now you can use them without feeling bad uh haldeman small direct hit adjustment decrease more rounds in the handguns that's fantastic for pve and pvp uh the grenade and bazooka changes look really nice there the, the missile launchers, I love seeing the dual missile buff. Everyone always was like, man, those missiles are dookie. And so that's that's huge for me. I love those. The Terrainos, definitely a well-needed adjustment there. The Coral Missile nerf. I, I'm going to actually play with laser turrets in PvP. I want to see what they can do now because they seem pretty funny. And then just in general, big, big stability, recoil control, attitude stability. Some good buffs all around. Uh, but yeah, definitely a, definitely a very beefy patch here. I think this is... This is the patch people have been waiting for. I know personally this is the patch I've been waiting for. I've been wanting to know uh, what PvP adjustments would look like. And it's looking good. And the nice thing is I don't think there's any, like, you know, I know people are going to be like, what about your builds? Are you going to update them? Honestly, most of these are, are probably still fine the way they are because none of those really relied on stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff I use, you know, even though he uses the Zims, that, that missile launcher got a buff. I'm definitely going to be working more with those. Uh, but yeah, things are in a good spot. So either way, wrapping things up there, I'll have the patch notes, of course, pinned in the description as well as in the comments. But now is a great time to jump back in if you were curious.